Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Under the menu bar, you will see the toolbar, a row of buttons that allow you to access various views within Dreamweaver. Again, keep in mind that many commands within this program can be executed in a number of different ways, so there is some repetition in the explanation. On the far left of the toolbar, there are three buttons that let you choose between Code, Split, and Design Views. To the right of those, the Live Code button shows the Live View source in Code View. To the right of that is the Check Browser Compatibility button, which does exactly what its name suggests. The Check Browser Compatibility button also gives access to the Spell Checker, as well as several other tools. To the right of that is the Live View button, which shows you, within the Dreamweaver program, how the currently opened page will behave when it's published to the Internet. Live View is a wonderful feature because it allows you to see the dynamics of your site before you publish it or even preview it in a browser window. Next to the Live View button is the Inspect button. This button, when clicked, will turn on Dreamweaver's Inspect mode. This is another great feature from Adobe because it allows you to simply move the mouse over different elements of your page in order to get information about them. To the right of the Inspect button is a button with a small globe icon. This is the Preview in Browser button. This handy tool allows you to open up your page in various browser windows before ever publishing your site, so that you can find and resolve issues before your site is live and visible to others. To the right of the Preview in Browser button is the Multi-Screen button. This tool opens up a new window that displays the current web page at several sizes. This allows you to see how the page you're working on will look on typical phone, tablet, and desktop screens. To the right of the multi-screen button is the Visual Aids button. When you click it, you will see a list of common visual aids within Dreamweaver. Checking these aids will make them visible. Unchecking them will make them invisible. Please note that if you use a lot of visual aids, you may want to use the Live View button often. It removes all of the selected visual aids to show what your page will look like without them when it's live. To the right of the Visual Aids button is the Refresh button, which refreshes the default view. To the right of the Refresh button is the Title Text field, which will display the title of the file you're working on. To the right of the Title Text field is the File Management button. It contains commands like Get and Put, as well as several other organizational tools. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.